talk on behalf of my two lab mates, Raj and Danielle. Today, we're going to go over SN1 and SN2 reactions. An SN1 reaction is unimolecular. This means that it's going to occur faster than when an SN2 reaction will. This is because an SN2 reaction is bimolecular, which means that there's more compounds that are having to react with each other. So therefore, that's why it takes longer. Over here, I've prepared a tray for the two reactions that we're going to be performing. Over here is the SN2. Remember, these ones are going to go slower. Over here is the SN1. For the SN2 reaction, we're going to have 18% sodium iodine and acetone. There is a skull and crossbones on both of these bottles that are next to our tray, so please be sure to wear your gloves and your goggles. For the SN1 reaction, we're going to have 1% silver nitrate, and that's going to be an ethanol. Something that's good to note for SN1 and SN2 reactions is that an SN1 reaction is a proctic solvent, while an SN2 reaction is an aproctic solvent. Hello, my name is Audrey. I'm here with Danielle, my lab mate. Right now, what we're going to do first is we're going to do the SN2 reaction. The SN2 reaction is, takes a little bit longer. And so what Danielle's going to do first for us is she's going to put one drop of one bromobutene into our first vial. It's important to only use one drop because if you put too much of the, of the reagent into the vial, you might get a false positive that it's reacting and forming a precipitate. And that's not what we want. So now she's added one drop of one bromobutane. Now she's going to add one drop of two bromobutane to the second vial. Now that she's put both of the drops into each of the vials, now what we're supposed to do is you're supposed to wait approximately one minute to see if a reaction will occur. What we're waiting to see is if a precipitate will form. A precipitate is when a solid starts to form in the vial. So after waiting a minute, what you do is you, if no reaction has occurred, you put it into a hot bath. Notice that we have two hot baths. One hot bath is set at about 60 degrees Celsius, and the other hot bath is set at about 80 degrees Celsius. The lower hot bath temperature, the 60 degree one, is the one that we're going to use for SN2 reactions. So at this point, it's probably been about one minute, and Danielle is going to go ahead and put both of our vials into the 60 degree Celsius hot bath. Once she puts it in the hot bath, we need to wait about four to five minutes for the, to see if the reaction occurs or not. If no reaction has occurred after four to five minutes, we know that a reaction is probably not going to occur at all. Go. Okay, welcome back. It's been about four to five minutes since we've put our two vials into the 60 degrees Celsius hot bath. So now Danielle is going to take out the vials for us and we're going to see which ones have reacted. This first one that she's taken out is one bromobutane. The second one she's taken out is two bromobutane. We see that one bromobutane now appears cloudy, whereas two bromobutane does not. This indicates that one bromobutane has had a precipitate form, and two bromobutane has had no reaction. When a precipitate forms, you're seeing very small particles starting to form a solid. So, sometimes it's not a complete chunk, sometimes they're very, very small, and it will still appear fluid-like. Fluid so, a good way to see is to try to look through it. If you cannot look through it, that means your precipitate has formed. But if you can look through it, that means no reaction has occurred, and therefore no precipitate has formed. So, we'll go ahead and put it back. And when we come back, we'll show you what an SN2 reaction. We've just done our SN2, and next time we're going to do an SN1. Welcome again. Last time what we did is we performed our SN2 reactions over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to perform our SN1 reactions. Danielle is going to go ahead and she's going to put, as labeled by this file, 2-bromo, 2-methyl propane. This is going to be the one that reacts instantly. So watch carefully. The small precipitate is already forming. If we were to take the vial and shake it, 
we see that it's entirely cloudy now. Note this is also why it's very important to wear gloves when performing experiments. This is an instantaneous reaction. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to add 2-bromo-butane into this vial. We're going to see if this reaction responds instantly. I'm looking. You can shake it a little bit. You're supposed to wait approximately 30 seconds to see if anything happens. And it doesn't appear that anything is. So remember, for SN1, we need to put our vial into a warmer hot bath than before. This is our 80 degree Celsius hot bath. We're supposed to wait several minutes to see if a reaction will occur. Remember, SN1 reactions are unimolecular, so therefore they're going to usually react faster than when SN2 reaction will. Notice our SN2 reaction did not occur instantaneously, at least not the one that we demonstrated. So after waiting about four to five minutes or however long you feel is appropriate, you'll wind up pulling it out. We've already performed this experiment. And this one just needed a little help with reacting. So now we have two precipitates that have formed. So some of them react instantaneously and some of them do not. Please notice that for the SN2, no reaction formed, and this was with 2-bromobutane. However, with SN1, a precipitate did form. So this is very important to notice, and it's part of what makes chemistry so intriguing and fun. I really hope that you enjoyed this experiment. Again, my name is Audrey, this is Danielle, and thank you to our lovely cameraman, Raj. We hope you really found this informative, and please have fun whenever you do chemistry, and be safe. Bye! Yeah.